Hello, everybody. Let's have some more news. I've got some updates. If you remember, a long time ago, we were talking about Spanish Springs. I went up there. I'd done all kinds of video about the Rialto Theater, and nothing's being done. No construction work's being done, and I talked about some rumors that was going around, and around here, rumors run wild. They just run wild. Some are happen to come true. Most of them do not. I talked about something that I heard from somebody that is supposed to be in the know. And apparently from this little article I got here, that person was in the know. And I think I mentioned it on a video up north. I don't really remember. You may want to go back and check those videos out. But I was up having a beer at a bar. Sue was shopping. I don't shop. And that's what we usually do. Our normal routine. She said, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to do some shopping, blah, blah, blah. And then I always say, okay, well, I'm going over here and sit on this outside bar or whatever and talk to some people. And when you're ready to go, just come and get me. So I'm talking to this guy next to me. Come to find out this guy worked for a particular company. And we're talking about things around Spanish Springs at that time. They had uh, fairly well just closed down Katie Bales, which was a big controversial thing right there. Rialto Theater was closed down, blocked off. And there was rumors running wild about what they were going to do and how they were going to do. And there was a big controversy about the apartments that's going to be built above Katie Bales. Nobody liked the idea of that. All the questions of who would want to live up there. All that noise out in the square. And it's just across the street. Who would want to live around that day in and day out and he was telling me about some suggestions that was made about the Rialto Theater that I had never heard of before a lot of people were saying well they're talking about building apartments in the Rialto Theater I had never heard that well and then they kept talking about the Rialto Theater opening up I said then I don't know if they'll ever open any of those theaters back up again because thanks to things like Netflix and streaming and pay-per-view most people don't go to the theater anymore they he was telling me that the Rialto Theater was possibly going to be remodeled and the exercise center that's on the second floor, I think it's called the La Riana building behind Spanish Springs, that they were going to move over to the Rialto Theater and put their exercise place in there. Now, are they going to take up the whole theater? I don't know. But he said that they were in negotiations of remodeling it and putting that over there because that was going to open up the second floor of the La Riana building to put more apartments up there. I have an announcement from the Daily Sun today. Big evolution ahead for Spanish Springs. The next phase of ongoing revitalization is coming to Spanish Springs Town Square with new retail, entertainment, and lifestyle options just around the corner. Spanish Springs is a key part of our community, and we are working to ensure it stays healthy and filled with the services and activities residents enjoy. Its 28-year history is one of re-innovation, and we're committed to adapting for the reuse that residents want. Genesis Health Club, which acquired two clubs in the villages in May, announced today that it will move its Spanish Springs operations into the new experience in the nearby Rialto building. The company plans include a nutritional area, juice bar, a smoothie shop that will be open to the general public in addition to fitness upgrade for members. I've already announced how the two bowling alleys were sold out. Who knows what the future holds for those bowling alleys as far as revitalization plans, maybe adding some things on like a restaurant inside the bowling alley, stuff like that. So there you go. I'll be cutting the hell out of that. Update on some things happening in Spanish Springs. I did not read the whole article. I just read that part because I thought it was interesting that the guy told me that a year or two ago. And now it's coming true. Drink of the day. I'm having me some white wine. I know I'm rambling here. We ain't even got to the news yet. Thanks, Kelly. Those of you who don't know Kelly, Kelly is a, another follower. She's a Kansas City police officer, and she's getting ready to retire in the next couple of years. She's here to check the place out. She invited me and Sue to come down for a lunch at Cody's. Actually, we're just going to meet her. That's always going to do. And I told her, I said, I'll just meet you at Cody's because me and Sue want to go out for lunch. Anyway, I haven't been to Cody's in a long time. Let's just go to Cody's. This was on a Saturday. I've never been to Cody's on a weekend. Never. Let me just say they have the um, farmer's market down at the squares on Saturday. Well, (laughs) I have never seen Cody's so full of people in my life since I've been here. It was jam-packed. I generally like sitting outside. That's why I live in Florida. I like sitting outside to have lunch and stuff. 
You couldn't even get out there. It was packed. Plus, they had a band playing out there uh, outside. Every time I'm down there, it's always during the week, I suppose. The band doesn't start up until 5 o'clock in the afternoon. We were down there for lunch right around 1 o'clock, and they already had a band playing. So, on weekends, apparently, that changes. Well, you can't talk to nobody when there's bands playing, so I didn't want to go out there. So, I said, well, you got a booth? Because in a booth, you can kind of talk a little better. The booth kind of knocks out some of that background noise of people talking around you. So, we got a booth. We're sitting there, and Sue and I look at the menu and, and everything. And pretty soon, this young lady comes up behind us, and she says, hi. She says, I'm Kelly. She said, uh, I brought my, I think it was her parents and her aunts and her uncles and everything. <laughs> and she said, would you like to come over to our table and join us? I said, sure, why not? I don't care. So we went over there and we talked to everybody and and hopefully I didn't bug everybody because I like talking and I talked a lot to to everybody there. And she was telling us uh, uh, houses she's been looking at and things like that. Yeah, we had a great time. She also gave me a new uh, Kansas City, Kansas. That's where she's from. You can't say Kansas City, Missouri. They take offense to that. <laughs> For Kansas City, Kansas, I got it over there. I don't. I'm not wearing it during the news. I think I'm going to wear that hat when the WNL show happens at the end of this month. So thank you for the police hat. I appreciate it. I love all the the first responders hats that I get. Sometimes the the uh, probably the most thing or I'll say my favorite. And it's not because of the design or anything. It's because that's where I'm from. The Indiana State Police. Somebody for the Indiana State Police. I, I'm not even sure who it was sent me this hat it says from the indiana state police bomb squad god you got to have respect for them guys right and i wear that one a lot because i'm from indiana and i truly appreciate the, all the first responder hats that i've gotten over the years i i do wear them exclusively a lot during the news i don't so much because the light in here it's a dark hat most police hats are dark colored and um, they shade the face to the point where you guys, it looks bad to you guys, I know. So, and I do have lighting, but sometimes that lighting is a little funny during the, uh, the day. Also, I'm trying out this new mic. I've been using it for a little bit, trying to get the settings right on it. You guys give me your idea real quick of this mic here. I'm going to do a little bit of the news with this mic. Somewhere during the news, I'm going to switch over to my normal mic. Listen to them. And let me know what you think. I've I've done all kinds of testing on both of them. They both sound good to me. Sometimes during talking or whatever and testing them, sometimes I really can't tell much difference between them. But this is a dynamic mic. The one I got over there is not. Huge difference right there. And I know you guys maybe don't know the difference, but just trust me. This is a sure um, a dynamic mic. And um, they're very, very sought after. This one here is the one that is the most used dynamic mic by all professional performers anywhere in the world. This one. And I just added it to my collection. And I thought, I might as well use it once in a while. So anyway, I got it, I got settings set on it. What do you think? Let me know.